In this video, we're going to continue on with acids and bases and talk about the four components of every acid-base reaction. And you see that below I've drawn actually a very simple, straightforward uh, acid-base reaction. And before we go into any more detail, it might be worthwhile to just sort of have a closer look at exactly what happens in this reaction. Let's look at the bonds that form and the bonds that break. So what exactly is going on? We have an OH minus reacting with H. CL, so hydroxide ion and HCl, and we're forming water and sodium chloride. So we are forming a bond between oxygen and hydrogen, right? So oxygen and hydrogen, and we are breaking a bond between hydrogen and chlorine. So that's what's that's all that's really happening in this reaction. Notice that our hydrogen is changing places, swapping between oxygen and uh, between chlorine and oxygen. Okay. So this species over here, we talked about previously, when it is the species that is going to be forming a bond to hydrogen, or form the proton acceptor, as we said. This is what we call the base. The base is the proton acceptor. And so that's where the OH bond is forming. Now where the, OH, where the HCl bond is breaking, the hydrogen is breaking a bond to something, a proton is being donated. This is what we call the acid. Okay, base and acid. Now what's being formed here, what's the relationship to the base? Well, it's the base plus a proton. So what we call, so it's a base after it's added our acid. So what we call this is, this is called the conjugate acid. And likewise, when we have a HCl, for example, and it loses a proton, and notice we've got an extra lone pair on our chloride, we call this the conjugate base. So every acid-base reaction, according to the Bronsted definition of acidity and basicity, has these four components. So the base is where the new H forms. So it, it uh, species that takes the H, the species that accepts H. H plus, actually, to be more specific. The acid is is where the hydrogen breaks. So this is the species that donates donates H plus. So species where the H breaks off, this is our acid. The conjugate acid is basically what we get when we form a hydrogen to the base and uh, H plus to the base. And the conjugate base is what's left after the acid donates H plus. And that's really it. I mean, every single acid-base reaction, according to the Bronsted definition, is going to have these four actors in it. And it's important to be able to recognize, in any given acid-base reaction, recognize the base, recognize the acid, recognize the conjugate acid, and recognize the conjugate base. 